Hey guys, so today I want to give you guys a five minute devotion by John Maxwell. So today my routine is not as normal, but it's okay, okay? So the title is called Give Them Themselves. So out of this book, devotion. So the scripture is Genesis 12, verse no, Genesis 30, 32, verse 28. It says, he, the angel said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men and have not prevailed. Cool. So devotion team members always love and admire a person who is able to help them go to another level. Someone who enlarges them and empowers them to be successful. Players who enlarge their teammates have several things in common. So there's four. The first one is enlarges value their teammates. People's performances usually reflect the expectations of those they respect. Secondly, enlarges know and relate to what their teammates value. Players who enlarge others understand what their teammates value. That kind of knowledge, along with desire to, de de um, sorry, to relate to their fellow players, creates a long-term strong connection between teammates. Thirdly, enlarges add value to their teammates. An enlarger looks for the gifts, the talents, <coughs> sorry, the gifts and the talents and uniqueness on other teammates and then helps them to increase those abilities for their benefits and for that of the entire team. Fourthly, enlarges make themselves more valuable. You cannot give what you do not have, okay? If you want to increase the ability of a teammate, make yourself better. So I actually love this. I actually just read it now. It's crazy how they say this because of actually working from home today specifically. I was trying to engage with one of my team members just to think of a different way of doing things based on what he's good at, enlarging what, he, what he's already good at, based on what I'm good at. So, and that's where we obviously meet each other for that gold price, right? So I think it's so important for us sometimes to just recognize, especially people who are in leadership, to recognize that certain colleagues have certain gifts and do not compare somebody's gift with somebody's inability to perform that gift. Because sometimes you will find in an organization that people have a lot of favoritism based on a gift that maybe a manager is also kind of good at, and they will focus on that particular person because they are more comfortable with that person. But the whole purpose of being a leader is actually to identify gifts from every single individual and tell them, since you're good, good at doing this, you'll be doing that, doing this, doing that. So I need you to kind of be loud about these things because you are more, you are more good at those things. And then after that, when those things emerge, magic happens. But sometimes when people are not motivated or inspired to use their gifts at work and you tend to see certain people more uh, what's the word be elevated because the manager or the leads or whatever tend to gravitate to what they have so my message today is use what you are good at god has given us all gifts gifts of exhortation gifts of creativity gifts so many gifts you know we all have different gifts I have a gift, my sisters have a gift, my mom has a gift. If I need something for my sister or another sister, based on what they can do better than me, I will reach out to them. So don't think you can do everything by yourself, you know, because somebody's ability to do something easy. For example, for me, creativity comes very easily, you know, uh, making stuff comes very easily. But for somebody, they don't have a creative bone in their structure, you know, which is okay. But they might have an analytical bone, which I can use. And then maybe they can tell me a story and I can put in a beautiful picture and it's all hunky-dory. So it's important to elevate people because that's where we actually get our energy. When we are more creative, when we're doing what we're good at based on our gifts, we get more energy. But when we do stuff that we do not want to do, it's like a drag. So I actually can relate to this uh, devotion for today because I felt like I had to sit down with my colleague just for us to kind of put things into perspective, his analytical view and my creative view and bam, we did it. We finished. Cool. <laughs>